record this one here for Alex. Um, Alex, are you going to take test, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can find it. Okay. Um, so rotations. So ladies and gentlemen, we talked about reflections. We talked about transformations or translations. I'm talking like sliding and shifting, and sometimes some things called reflections, flipping. Now we're going to talk about rotating. All right. And rotating, ladies and gentlemen, is just exactly what we call it, like um, rotating, right? If you have a book, something what we're going to do is we're going to be rotating it. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a question. If I take this, if I say rotate, all right, rotate, if you guys see, here's rotate. You guys can rotate it this direction, right? You could also rotate it in this direction, OK? So one thing I want you guys to understand first about rotation is when we're rotating, when we rotate it like a clock, we call that the clockwise direction. Okay? If we have a figure and we rotate it the opposite of way a clock goes, we call that counterclockwise. Okay? So first thing I want to tell you guys is if we have a figure and we rotate that figure, Counter um, in the left direction, we call that counterclockwise. And if we rotate it, if we rotate it in clockwise direction, we call that clockwise. Okay, I'll talk about the fixed point here in just a second. So that's counterclockwise and clockwise. All right. Now, 